video is meant to familiarize the rider with the location of information and components on a Ranger 1000. On both sides of the vehicle, you will find a side net or door, if equipped. Once inside, the driver's seat can be adjusted by using the lever on the bottom of the seat. Once in the driver's seat, you will find the cup holder, light switch, tilting steering column, and digital gauge. On the center dash, you will see a key switch, the shift lever, upper cup holders, the turf mode switch, power sockets, a storage compartment, and lower cup holders on the transmission tunnel. On the right side of the dash, there is a glove box with a toolkit inside, a cup holder, and a passenger grab handle. Underneath the passenger seat is a storage compartment, which can be lifted out to access the fuse panel and the battery. The hood can be lifted by turning the quarter turn latches and pulling back. Underneath the hood, you will find the terminal block, coolant overflow bottle, and the radiator cap. The radiator can be accessed by removing the front grille. In the driver's side front wheel well, you will find the brake master cylinder. The headlight adjustment screws are located in the front upper fender wells. The fuel cap is located on the driver's side of the vehicle. The front and rear suspension can be adjusted by using the tool provided in the toolkit. The cargo box has tilt latches on both sides of the vehicle. Tilting the cargo box will give you access to the oil cap, dipstick, and other engine components. The tailgate can be lowered by pulling up on the latch. The VIN label is located on the passenger front chassis frame. The VIN is also stamped on the driver rear chassis frame under the cargo box. Warning! Read all warning labels on your vehicle before riding. A detailed list can be found in your owner's manual. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.